couple of days ago I did a video where I stopped beside the road and I deed a bunch of plants. There was a great patch of curly dock over there and I've been dying to get back over and actually harvest a bunch of it. So what I'm going to show you today is how to make a dish with curly dock that tastes better than asparagus. It tastes like something you've never had before and honestly I think it'll blow you away if you try it yourself. So first thing I got to do though I got to head out and get some dock. So I decided to take the old baby carrier to load it up. Isaac and Annika don't use it anymore so it's going to be my fishing and uh, foraging wagon. here new growth from right here up now that's what i'm really looking for today is from this point up that fairly new growth where it's still got this little husk around it and i'm going to sear that in a cast iron pan over fire and uh, use a real hot heat and some butter and salt and see see if we can impress rachel with this so. which is next to impossible she's not impressed with it. any food i cook No. And I'm going to harvest this piece right here. My bag's got a hole in it. That may or may not have something to do with harvesting cactuses in this. All that nice growth in there, that's what we want. I'd say this is more than enough to do what we want to do today with. So. Oh! Time got away from me this weekend. I harvested this curly dock three days ago, but this is how good a condition it's still in. I did crisp it in the sink, otherwise, this has just been sitting in this basket all weekend. So this stuff really keeps well. I'm gonna just, uh, everybody else is in bed tonight, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sear this up, show you what this looks like when it's cooked. I'm gonna make basically the asparagus type dish I've been talking about. So I'm just gonna get these little pieces right here and I'm gonna cook them up. Sometime later I'll show you how to take the leafy green part of this and make a uh, either a cooked green or my personal favorite, the sausage substitute. But for tonight, we'll just sear up these uh, center pieces that I consider to be the kind of like the hearts uh, of the curly dock. There's a little papery husk on it, and I am peeling that off. There's a a little bit of a knuckle right there where the new growth starts. So I'm cutting that knuckle part off. I 
Now, time to head out and put it on the griddle. We're just gonna have salt, black pepper, and butter. Smells good. That's the sear I was looking for. Just perfectly thinned on the outside. If you heat your flipper up, it cuts the butter real nice. Well, all this build up, I hope it tastes as good as I remember it. Let's give it a try. That's for you, Gustav. Almost got like a mildly sour flavor. That's the part I'd say is kind of citrusy. The leaves that are on there get crunchy. Mm. It tastes wonderful. This plant, as a cooked green, tastes better than spinach, and it's so much more versatile than spinach. You can do all, so much more with it. It's got so much more flavor than asparagus. The sweetness in it. Rachel's asleep. I may have to go wake her up. Forget the fork. Mm. All right, go get Rachel. It's a little after midnight, and she is not getting out of bed. So I'll just be enjoying this by myself tonight. Mm. It's crunchy. So see that gooey nature? It's kind of gone. It's still there a little bit, but it's good. It's not a bad addition. It somehow complements it that it's a well-lubricated food. I wish I had just been somebody else to share this with. It's really good. I really hope some people out there try Curly Doc. Give it a shot. Try cooking with it. It is so versatile, it's kind of hard to believe. I will probably do some more with this in some upcoming videos this summer. So maybe I'll do that sausage uh, substitute I've been talking about maybe sometime here in the next week or two. But you know what? Thanks for coming along on this adventure. Have a great day. It's so good.